And now to the action that the audience has been waiting for. It's the annual Royal Navy field gun competition between the Fleet Air Arm, Portsmouth and Devonport. Two teams at each performance. On the far side today, it's the team from Devonport. And close to the camera, it's the Fleet Air Arm. Maximum points they got in 1966, the greatest amount of points ever in this competition, 32. And Devonport had the best aggregate time. There's the course they're going to compete over with those massive field guns. Three runs, the run out, the run back, and the run home will go through those individually as they prepare themselves for the run out. Such is the competition that happens here at Earl's Court every year that the results are immediately flashed to Royal Navy ships and stations around the world so that their progress can be followed. The fastest time ever done was Portsmouth, 2 minutes 40.6 back in 84, and they also got the least penalty points in 82, they got just four penalty points. Penalties are awarded to teams if they drop anything in that massive chasm, that is a 28 foot wide chasm over which they have to get the equipment, get the gun once they've dismantled it, and if they drop anything at all, then they get penalty points. Commander, Lieutenant Commander Ken Mathers gives the signal for the start of the Royal Navy field gun competition and into the lead it is just Devonport, first man over the wall there. Only just though, but look at that gun being ripped apart on both sides, thrown over the wall. The team's following over a 900 pound gun barrel sitting there on its gun carriage, putting the wheels on. First man over the chasm, there we are, it's the Fleet Era. Fleet Air Arm just in front of Devonport. The first set of wheels about to go over. Wheels are over, so Fleet Air Arm by about a second and a half from Devonport. The gun carriage goes over. Looking at the Fleet Air Arm. They get the gun barrel over, and the last pair of wheels going over. There's the limber, and they're neck and neck. They're absolutely side by side with the limber going over as the teams now head towards the wall. Through the wall, assemble the gun and fire off the rounds to signify they've finished the run out. And it's very, very close, this. Fleet Air on in position. And it's just Devonport on that run. Devonport by about a second from the Fleet Air Arm. Now the judges will just make sure that the rounds have been fired. And the teams will prepare themselves for the next section, which is the run back. 126.23, that's the leading time for Devonport. One twenty-seven three one. That's the time for Fleet Air Arm languishing in second place at the moment. The run back. They all have to withdraw over the wall, go back across the chasm, and at that point you've got to watch how they throw all the equipment around when it's thrown over the wall. The combined weight of the gun barrel and its gun carriage together, twelve hundred and fifty pounds. That is over half a tonne of equipment, and it goes over in one piece. The bugle's ready. This gives the signal. Naval Airman Rocker Wait sounding the bugle for the start of the run back. Average time about a minute on this. First man going across the chasm as we look at the gun racing down. Free tear arm on this side. Devonport on the far side. Fleet Air Arm about a second to make up to get the lead back here. And they've got their wheels across, but it's still pretty even Stevens. The limber across. And here comes the heavy stuff. 1,250 pounds of barrel and gun carriage. There goes the barrel. And they'll be so careful with that because they're going to use it at the end. They're going to fire with it. The gun carriage across. To me, like Fleet Air Arm are 
they're just pulling back here. They've just got their wheels across quicker. Flying Angels across. Fire the gun. And they have done it. They have done it. In fact, it's, it's, a, it's a dead heat on that run because they've remained about a second behind. Shell's being checked by the judges as we also check the times because it seems to me they may have pulled back just a few tenths of a second. Fastest time, there it is, 2.24.69. That's for Devonport who still have the lead over Fleet Air Arm who pulled up just slightly on 225.38. Uh, less than a second in it as we get set for the run home. not enough it's well, not enough Devonport win by a whisker point three two of a second is the gap on the final times 245.44 the winning time for Devonport